paragraph rules and paragraph shading, by definition, are paragraph level only. You cannot apply them to a selected bit of text within a paragraph. But if you want to create a highlight effect like this, you can, but just not with paragraph shading or paragraph rules. Now I'm going to move this frame so you can see it's actually the text that has a background color. It's not a box behind the text. The way we do that is a very similar technique, but it's character level only. Let's say we want to highlight ham, turkey, and pastrami. I will highlight it and get the spaces on either side. And then from the character panel mode of the control panel, or from the character panel itself, go to the flyout menu and choose underline options. Up will pop this dialog. Make sure preview is turned on. Then turn underline on and you'll get the underline under there, which is all well and good. Change the color to something else. Let's highlight this with magenta. And then start increasing the weight. And if you notice down here, the line's getting thicker, but the text is still above the line. It's in front of the line. Now start adjusting the offset. And bring that highlight up. And maybe we'll go a little bit bigger so we get those descenders. and then click OK, and you now have the ability to highlight text. Highlight that again, or select it with a highlight. Go to Character Styles, New. We'll call this Highlight Pink, and I know I misspelled it. I did that on purpose just so I have a nice short character style name. We'll highlight that and go make a new one, Highlight yellow. Now I can go through the rest of this document applying those character styles wherever I need them. And highlighting text as needed. 